Hello everyone and welcome back to PE Academy and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw a seven-pointed star. So in the previous part of this video we've looked at how to draw a five-pointed star that is something like this is like what we did a five-pointed star. We've also looked at how to draw a six-pointed star that is something like this. So right now we are looking at a seven-pointed star. So before we uh, get into this video proper if you are new to PE Academy or you are yet to subscribe uh, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel it's absolutely free and let me know in the comment section below if you've just subscribed you can say something like I've subscribed and I'm going to reply you all right so thank you very much if you have just done that okay so for us to draw a seven point third star one thing we are going to need is a heptagon so this is it yeah I, I draw I've just I've drawn the heptagon already with a faint line I hope you can see it. So, but let me identify the vertices. So, this is let's call this point A, and then let's call this will be the point B. This is another vertex here, which is point C. So, let's call this point D. This will be point E, point F, and then point G. So, I've just to save time, I've gone ahead to draw the heptagon. And then the, when you are drawing your heptagon, make sure you do it with a very faint line, like what I'm having here. Um, just in case, just if you look closely, you see, you'll be able to see the line that is a very faint line. Because what we actually need from the uh, heptagon itself are the vertices, all these points that I've just uh, number a, that I've just uh, lettered a to g. Those are the things that we need. So in, in drawing a seven-pointed star, there are two methods to go about it and I'm going to be showing you in this video. So now that you have your heptagon and you've identified the points, the next thing is, so let's start from point A. So this is the uh, method one I'm going to be showing you. So from point A, what you are going to do is you are going to be drawing a line from this point A to point C, skipping point B. So you are going to be skipping one of the vertices, so you are going to draw a line from vertex A to vertex B, skipping vertex, I mean from vertex A to vertex C, skipping vertex B. So now if you want to draw this line, you can go ahead and make it bold because that's what we actually need from this, from all this drawing. So we are going to be having something like this. So same thing from point C to point E, skipping point D. So uh, if you don't know how to draw a regular heptagon, uh, kindly check the description of this video. I'll leave a link uh, to that video or you can check the playlist on technical and engineering drawing, you'll find a video showing how to draw all the regular polygon, including heptagon. So now I'm doing for that of point E to point G, skipping point F. So now we're on point F, so we're going to draw a line from point G, I mean we're on point G rather, we're going to draw a line from point G to point B, skipping point A. So it's going to be looking like this, then from point B to point C. D, skipping point C. So the next one, from point D to point F, skipping point E. And then from point F to point A, skipping point G. So this is going to be the last one. So with this, uh, this is the first method. We already have our seven-pointed star. This is it. This is one. So let this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-pointed star. So that is it for this uh, method one. Now on this same heptagon, I'm still going to be showing you the method two instead of doing another heptagon. So if you are finding value in this first method, I'll please give it a thumbs up. So now let's go ahead and look at the second method. So once you have your heptagon and you have identified your vertices, so another thing you can do is, unlike this method one, where we skipped just one uh, vertex and then we moved to the other one, you can as well skip uh, two vertices and move to the next one. So this is what I'm saying. So if you are starting from point A, now I'm, I'm in method two. So if I should start from point A, I'm going to skip two points, that's two vertices, point B and C, I'm going to skip it and move to point D. So I'm going to be having something like this. So from point A straight to point D. So this is what I'm going to be having from point A straight to point D. Now from point D, I'm going to skip two vertices. So I'm going to skip points E and F and move to point G. So that's going to be looking like this. So 
So now from point G, I'm going to be skipping point A and point B. I'll move to point C. So again, we are going to skip another two that we are going to skip in point D and point E and move to point F. So skipping another two, which is point G and point A, so we are going to be coming to point B. And then from point B, we are coming to point F. We are drawing a line to straight to point, I mean, from point B, we are drawing a line to point E, skipping point C and D. So let's do that. So then for the last one, from point E to point A, skipping point F and point G. So you can see this is method two. Method two involves skipping two points, two vertices, and move to the third one. So now this is method one and method two. So let me know in the comment section which one you think um, is more easier or more, look more good between the method one and method two. So that's it for this video. If you find value, also give it a thumbs up. I want to see your comments uh, in the comment section below. And if you are yet subscribed to this channel, PA Academy, kindly click on subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. So in the next part of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a eight-pointed star. That video is going to be coming up uh, somewhere on your screen towards the end of this video. So make sure you watch this video to the end. That video is going to be coming up immediately after this. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.